to dis so I'm here to discuss module three, um, the discussion questions they were down. Um, the first one being what was the patronage system um, in the late 18th century. So the patronage system was um, uh, was where musicians and composers worked as servants in um, the noblemen and higher ranked houses. Um, one of those that um, benefited highly from this patronage system would be Mozart, um, who worked for several families. Um, this is how they made their money. This is how they um, got the funding to compose. This is how they got their work out into the public, um, was by being a servant in a house as an, and hired on as a musician and or sometimes a composer. Um, discuss the rise of the professional musician in the early 19th century and the rise of professional musicians performing chamber music in the early 19th century. So, um, I am not sure I remember really reading a lot about it, but, um, from what I can gather as chamber music came about, um, the demands for multiple musicians at once became a must, which required dedication at an employment level is what I'm going to guess. And, um, and it took some organization. Also, um, being um, being a professional musician and being hired by um, higher ranked housing um, and noblemen and so forth, kings and queens, um, you they didn't want to pay and house a symphony-sized um, company. They wanted to hire a few musicians and house them and take care of them. And um, that just, in my head, would make sense. Um, and also during the time, you know, kind of around the time that Beethoven came about, um, professional players started to merge in part because the music became more difficult and demanded more um, from the players slash ensemble. So there had to become a sense of professionalism. It wasn't something you could just sit down and have a good time and play. It took some practice and some time and some skills and technique. And so that's kind of where professional musicians started to emerge and amateurs kind of started to dissipate. Um, how could events such as the French Revolution and the American Revolution affect the decline of the patronage system and the change in the social and economic makeup of the early 19th century audience? Um, the decline of the patronage system came about during the revolution because of the demands for social equality you know, um, of classes and the control of noblemen and church kind of became obsolete. Um, people were sick of being um, servants and they wanted the same rights as everyone else. And um, that came about also, you know, poor and famine came about, which didn't only affect the lower classes, but also affected the higher classes, which also took money away, which um, kind of equalized that playing field, I would say. And so those are my responses.